Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers and let's get into it. First of all, um, just to say that probably tomorrow I will be releasing videos flying and driving. Mainly the two main event vehicles. Uh, so keep an eye out for that and make sure to subscribe for that as well. Click the little bell icon, it always helps uh, to not miss any videos. But yeah, click the like button, all those things. But let's talk a little bit first about this dev blog that was released just now. Refinement of the aircraft damage models on the example of the SU-25 and A-10A. If you know, the A-10A and the SU-25 had really weird damage models sometimes. The SU-25 could take like several hits and not be destroyed by anything sometimes while the A-10 would just take one hit on the rear fuselage and just be destroyed, like, hope, like the whole plane would be destroyed, right? So they are basically fixing that. They say that, uh, especially over here, that they are uh, actually, you know, listen to the, listening to the uh, players basically complaining about these weird things, and they are going to refine the way that everything is on the damage model. On the A-10, um, basically they noticed that any hit would mean that both of the engines would be completely destroyed and then the tail section would be just completely destroyed by, by even smaller missiles and stuff. Uh, so they are basically refining that uh, in the sense that it will depend more on where the missile is going to hit or the, hit, or the, the shell or anything like that. And then one engine, the probability of just one engine be destroyed is going to be increased, so the other engine can work, right? And also the tail section would sustain a little bit more, apparently, uh, on the sense of just the way that everything will work. So uh, a major hit obviously will destroy the aircraft, but they are making it so that it's a little bit more realistic. So if it hits a major component, you will feel that major component being destroyed, but if you don't get hit on that, it will be uh, fine. Uh, on the forward fuselage, for example, they say that if you get hit it by that, and for example, it's a black fuselage, uh, the next hit that hit that will severely destroy the aircraft uh, in the insides of the aircraft, right? So they're basically making it so that uh, it is a little bit more realistic the way that everything is. It will take more of a punch, maybe the A-10, uh, but in, it, it would still go down with a lot of missiles or uh, just some missile, some shell types and stuff like that. It's just going to be more realistic. So if it hits one engine, it will destroy one engine. If it hits uh, one uh, tail section or the control cables or anything like that, it will be a little bit more precise and a little bit more refined. That will be added for basically every single aircraft apparently, but you will feel more on the A-10 and the SU-25, apparently. And for the SU-25 specifically, um, it would just withstand considerable damage, as they say here, from close bursts and kinetic elements uh, because of an error in the damage calculation. So it was basically too strong, especially in the engines. So uh, now uh, they basically fixed the problem. And depending on the angle and the power of the shell, anything like that, uh, it will basically destroy just one engine or the two engines, or it will destroy major components or anything like that. It will be a little bit more realistic. Uh, I would say that it, it is going to be, um, you know, not only they fixed that bug specifically to the SU-25, but they are also adding these more precise ways of dealing with damages. So uh, they say that it's a damage model refinement, basically. So, yeah, as it, they, you see here, will affect all aircraft in game. Damage will be applied correctly. So, it is just a refinement that will make all the damage models more realistic against missiles and shells and all the stuff like that. But I think the SU-25 was a major one on these problems because it had this bug. Um, so, yeah, it makes sense, right? And I think it's just a more realistic thing. Uh, remember, even if you see in DCS, for example, these aircraft can take a punch, man. And once in DCS, I took like six Stinger missiles to the back of the SU-25 and it survived, at least so that I could return to my, like, my part of the field in the DCS, in, in that campaign that I was doing. 
uh, for friendlies, right? And I could eject there. So, um, yes, the SU-25 can take a punch, man. It, it is a very, very strong aircraft. But I think it was too strong, especially in the engines. Uh, you could see that the engines would just withstand basically everything. Uh, right now, it was, it, I mean, as I said with the A-10, if a missile hit uh, the left side of the aircraft, in this case, it is the left side of, of the aircraft, right? It will destroy just this engine, the other engine will be fine. If it takes on the right side, it will destroy this engine and the left engine will be fine. If it takes uh, on up, like from the bottom here, it will destroy both engines. So it depends where the missile will hit, it will be more refined on that. And that's just amazing. Uh, but remember, as they say here, they can um, withstand or survive small SAMs or small caliber guided missiles or just in general small uh, smaller rounds, right? Uh, remember that normally this will force the pilots to return urgently to the airfield. Obviously, if it was a normal aircraft, it would be just destroyed, but this aircraft can take a punch a little bit. And um, But direct hits from large caliber um, guided missiles with considerable explosive weight and number of submunitions will always lead to the defeat of the, any aircraft, including the SU-25 and A-10. So always remember that bigger missiles will always defeat this, this aircraft, right? And that was a weird thing that was happening. Even bigger missiles, uh, sometimes it would lead to the aircraft just being survivable, uh, survived that, especially the SU-25. So yeah, very, very cool with the addition of the new BR of the SU-25. Things are going into the right direction. So yeah, thank you Gaijin for this. Very cool additions. I will be playing this after it's added. Uh, it is going to be added in an um, upcoming minor minor update. So it's not right now live on the game. So probably will be added uh, in the next week, I think. But yeah, very, very cool addition. And just a more release, uh, a little bit of more release run into the game, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. This video is already too long. Let me know in the comments what, what you think about it. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.